Beautiful, and stop. Thanks, Shuhei. So I'm not gonna flatten this too much. Will you take a clear dip and then the blue? I'm not gonna flatten this too much because I like to have a little high point uh, to aim the foot to. It makes it easier to hit the center. If this was dead flat, it would be harder to get to the center. It would also uh, start to kick the very bottom in, that sort of dome of doom look, and we don't wanna have that. So I like to actually start the process of adding the foot by having um, a, just a gentle dome so I can see where I'm shooting for. shuei has got that clear gather first underneath and then he'll collect blue glass over that. And again, you don't have to put the clear, but it does seem to provide a little structural stability. And uh, it also doesn't use the blue up as quick. Please. And with anything that you're doing, even if it's as simple as just a cup with a foot, as you're watching your assistant sort of get your act together for you, bringing the parts over, really just keep in mind your temperature. You don't want to be so hot that things are moving. I know I want to be ready when he's ready. So I'm just kind of keeping my eye on him. I know Shuhei's going to gather the glass. He's not going to marver, and he's going to come to the heat. The reason he's not going to marver is just to keep that uniform texture and heat. And that looks awesome. So you can see he's got a honker. I think Belinda will approve of this message. Am I ready? Uh, sure. <laughs> so we'll pop this puppy right on and take as much of it as I can. And stay right there if you can. Thanks. So that went on a little hot and wild. So I'm just gonna try to straighten that out before I go anywhere. Just by gently pressing in and looking for the high side to center it. Giving a little touch with this paper. And now no one, except for everybody that saw me threw that off center knows. <laughs> that went off center. That's great. Oh, man. So I'm going to get some heat built up on that bottom section, though I'll flash my neck. And I'm going to use the jacks and a paddle to start to shore the two components together. I want it hot but not crazy. Hey, Juan, can I trouble you, please? There's a hose over there that's a lighter color hose. May I have that? Thank you so much. Please hold and thank you. So I'm going to put a little back pressure as Shuhei is paddling. Steph's paddling. Sorry. As Steph's paddling. <laughs> I hear Ross. Uh, give me one second. And start to paddle, please, and push softer. And that's a beautiful start. Please hold. I'm going to get it hot and we'll do that one more time. So I'm not blowing too much. I'm more just sort of capping or trapping that air in. So as she's pushing and, and she's very strong. So I didn't expect that. You were, <laughs> as you were pushing, I'm pushing down as she's pushing in. And we're really crisping up that right angle of the foot together. I'm still screaming hot, but if you want to fashion that up, that would be super de duper. Yeah, I need one more good good round of heat and then we'll start to cool that bottom. So I'm not looking for a ton of movement, more just the opportunity to push the two together so it's seamless. And paddle please. Stop just for one sec and paddle again please. And stop, thank you so much. So that looks pretty awesome. Got that nice, fat, contrasting colored foot, which is a, a good thing to have, since you guys thought this looked celebratory. You can drop your ice cubes from afar into the cup and not worry about breaking the bottom. One of you guys asked last night, when I'm sophieing the foot, so yeah. So just stay calm no matter what happens in the shop, like that. There's no benefit to freaking out. 
because they'll let anybody in those doors. So I'm, I can see my lip is quite narrow when I cut the neck in. It's a little tight, so I don't want to overheat because I don't want to seal my lip shut. But I am going to heat the very edge of the lip and draw it out with the tweezers and remove the excess material with the uh, straight shears. My foot or base is a little warm, so I'm kind of keeping it out of the heat, but really focusing the heat on what I'm changing, which is that lip. Just quick little tugs. I didn't overheat this because I didn't want to seal it up. So I am going to do that one more time. You don't need to trim anything, but it really does look nice to have the contrast of a super thin lip to that thick base. It's kind of an awesome thing. And notice that when I'm pulling, I really hold those tweezers like close to the tip of the tool so I have a lot of strength to pull and a lot of control too. When I turn and, and pull and when I turn to cut, I really turn slow but steady. And there's a great benefit to that too. Things don't tend to twist. Just quick little pulls. So turning quite slow, cutting pretty quick. Smoothing out that edge, ready to sophie that up. So every step, you really want to take a good flash, know what you're going to do before you sit totally helps. It really just keeps your mind organized. You don't have to think too far. The next step is going to be to sophie this. And that's a nice thing to know. Keep it simple. I'm looking for a little bit of movement. My top wall is quite thin. It's not going to take a great deal of pressure to rip that lip open. But I do want to open it in like just one good heat so that I don't thicken it. And paddle lightly, please. And stop for a sec. Paddle again, please. stop thank you so much what do you think we need a cocktail hour maybe that looks pretty good maybe that silence means I should do it one more time <laughs> all right Shuhei's getting his shirt on I'm going to touch that one more time whilst I wait for him to get his act together I'm um, sure I would love that real light thank you so much and stop thanks and boom, one more flash for good measure. But you can see that has a real awesome base. So if you don't get out much, this is pretty exciting to me. I like it with the white. Thank you. Turn up the volume on that a little bit. Thanks, you guys. You got it. Good. Awesome. So we'll do that same combination with the white and the blue foot for the bottle. I just think that looks so slick. Yeah. And again, I don't get out much, so I think that'll be a nice look. Having the layer is good. And uh, I think that we'll do that folded lip as well on the top, because that can look nice as well. Do you guys have any questions about that process? No, it's pretty really straightforward. We're going to do that same type of foot on this. It's going to be a little harder to apply it just because it's going to be taller. Um, and sometimes you might want to stand on something, uh, but I think I'm going to sort of go for it without doing that. It. 
So I've got that opaline, and I, I think just one big clear dip over this will do the trick. That pot furnace is so hot, the pipe cooler is really essential for me so that I can uh, hold the pipe nice and low. Spread my hands out and just have my body in the center of the pipe. Makes it so much easier to hold everything up. Just get that glass off the stick and pop a little bubble. Voila! Does anyone have a song in their head? Like a song in your head? Because I have one that I don't want to say out loud because then it's going to be all in your heads and then we're all going to be annoying. <laughs> Anyone? You got some? That's where you went? No, no. All right. That's where you went? That's so funny. I've just got the final countdown in my head. Because we were just talking. But I need to not have that happen. So um, if someone has a better song uh, for my head, that would be great. I love the general. And of course, the chickens don't understand glass blowing, but they do like a glass bowl to eat their oatmeal. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna just take one big scoop on this and hit this with the clear. Thank you. I think I'll take a pit stop. Little pit stop. It's good to make sure your hands are really wet and moisturized <laughs> before you start to turn the pipe. So I was a little wide for that block. So the paper became my best friend and now I fit. That looks mo better. When you guys get your second or third gathers, it's really good to take an equalizing heat before you start to blow. Though I'm super warm right now, I'm gonna heat the whole thing up. You can reblock it, paper it, marver it. Just do something to make the inside gather and the outside gather really similar in temperature, or the same in temperature, because that'll make the piece blow out just so much more uniformly. I'm gonna sit with it one more time before I hit the uh, tip on the table, just because I had that blip right when I tried fitting in the block and didn't. And this will sort of allow me to get a little extra material towards the base. And then I'm ready to start blowing out the shoulder. I'm gonna marble the very tip. Uh, it's important to find an angle that sort of suits you for this. I marble the tip to suck heat out of it. You don't need to be all steep and deep with it. You can be on like a 35 or 45 degree angle and really address the tip without elongating too far. So I'm not all that high up, but I am only touching the very bottom. And I definitely turn faster than the rate in which I blow. And that allows everything just to stay more even. Hey, if you just wax my jacks, thank you. Okay. So I have a little bit of thickness on the tip, which will serve me later, because I'm gonna, when I'm cutting the neck, have Shuhei blow into the pipe, which will allow the shoulder of the bottle to blow up. It's good while you're taking your heat before things are kind of wild, just to look at the tool, what you're gonna get. So you're ready to just have it in your hand and use it taking that little quick peek back, making sure you've got what you're gonna need, especially if you're gonna take a juicy heat. I like to start, I don't know, about an inch or two down from the rod, 
and make the diameter of the neck blow lightly, please, like the diameter of what I want that tube to be. And then once I've created that diameter, I start to pull softer blowing, please. Stop for a sec. And if you can get that top neck cut while you still have that fresh heat, you're all the better off because it would be hard to get heat deep there otherwise. Blow again, please. And stop, thank you. So I got one neck, two neck. Now I get to heat this section and elongate it, and then we'll put that nice solid base on it so it matches the cup. So your fancy scotch could go in this. You could drink out of this or out of the cup, whatever you like. So just by heating, if you're turning too quickly, that shoulder will widen. I want to maintain the shoulder, but I want to stretch or elongate the bubble itself. So I don't need to turn too quickly, just enough to stay on center. Flashing every now and then as a cheap insurance plan for my neck at the top by the pipe. And I'm really just looking for that consistent wiggle. And that'll be a great indication I'm hot. Just by getting the glass hot and holding it down, it starts to stretch a little bit. And then Shuhei, I'll take one more puff before we uh, put that on top. Blow, please. Stop for a sec. And blow, please. And stop, thank you. May I have a nice big honking? It's clear first. Yes. May I trouble you for the other hose that's on that box just because this pipe is a bigger head? Thank you so much. So as much as I like to curse the hoses, they kind of work. Oh, as I get called, <laughs> stupid hose. <laughs> That's why I curse them. It's like a tripping hazard all day long. It's so funny. But they are helpful because this way I can put that back pressure as I need. I could have someone cap it too. But this, this will do the trick. So shuei has got a little bit more material. He's gonna take that extra dip. fight with the hose in the meanwhile. Doing my, well, I'm, I'll be ready when you're ready. If that's what you just said. So I don't want it dead flat, just like with that cup. I want to see just a little bit of height so I can see where the dead center is. You can also mark it with a Scratchosaurus if you like. Yeah, look at that, Jiminy Crickets, I'm in for it now. So Shuhei's got a gather as big as my head, sorta. I'm gonna have you just turn nice and slow and get that hot, please. Oh, I don't need this right now. I'm gonna need this in a sec. Yes. Stop turning not fall around, but we are going to address it right in a moment. Thank you. Ooh. So just like I did with that other one, I was a little unround with the application. So I'm just going to center it with the jacks, straighten it with the paper kind of coming around. Yeah, when you bring the um, glass got to be off the head of the pipe rather than around the pipe where it doesn't fall as a circle. Can I trouble you for that hose again, please? The darker one that's on the bench there. If your glass falls, thank you, from the side of the pipe, 
Seldom will it fall round. It'll fall like the shape of a handbag that was just emptied. Or like my cat when she's sitting on the bed. It's kind of that shape. But if you want a ball, holding the glass down a little bit. Sometimes you can even cut a neck so that it's already established as a ball. Will you paddle, please? Stop for a moment, I'm going to reheat. I've seen the others, and I have. So you did, you did it. Discovered that this fight is not worth fighting. That's funny. That's so much better of a song. What's your stats? I need like one more good shaping heat and then just to cool down. So I'm close, but there are no cigars as of yet. So the uh, jacks and a little bit of a puff paddle, please, will help shore up the bottom. Stop for one sec. I got to flip my uh, grip and paddle again. Softer and stop. All right, this is funky. We're doing it one more time. Shuhe, give me a minute. One more time. So it's always best if you hit things centered. And if you don't, it just makes a little more work. It doesn't mean you can't fix what you got. It just means you got to take a little extra heat to fix it. And that's what I'm struggling with right now. But we'll get it. By jelly, we'll get it. Paddle on it. Bring your tool on a diagonal up towards the sky, like the handle of your tool towards the ceiling. Yes. Push a little bit more. Softer though. And that looks totally better. We're gonna do that one more time. Thank you. I was just on a weird angle. Yeah, you could do that. And if that's annoying to have that little paddle, you can just use a wet paddle. That way you can use your back hand, one hand to hold the paddle and one hand to push. I'll use the jacks this time, Steph. So we don't have to be all jacked up on that crazy angle. But wait one sec and start to paddle gently. Stop. So all I see is that. You guys see that one spot? Got to get rid of that before we stick it up because we'll never get it out otherwise. Shuei, will you go on a holding pattern just while I try to clean up that one little funky bit? Please and thank you. This is going to do it, do or die. So I'm heating just a little deeper. That might have been my issue. Having that depth. I'm also not good with the hose at this size. It's part of my issue. Paddle lightly. That looks better. And stop. Thank you. I just need to Sophie my and I'm ready. If you are. Thank you. Thanks. I 
How do you feel? Do you feel centered? Because I feel like it is. Good. Keep it right there. May I give you that? Thank you. Shui, I'm going to have you hold that just for one sec. The struggle is fucking real. Oh my god. Sleep and water, the most important thing you can do for yourself. My public service announcement. Drink more water, get more sleep. Thank you. Gracias. So now I get to address the lip of this. The neck length is really quite nice, so I don't need to try to make it longer. You can use the uh, trimming to thin the lip, cutting it and you know pulling it and cutting it, or that jack and crack that we did the other day when we did something like this. That can be nice. Uh, depending on how wide you want the lip, you might determine what you want to do. I'm going to pull it and most likely cut it, but there is that small chance I'll jack and crack. I'm going to just see what the diameter looks like after I've pulled it. The jack and crack is really nice, but it ends up leaving such a tiny hole that that's something else to contend with. I just threw those. Thank you, Steph. So because it's got this little belly at the top, jacking and cracking actually might be a nice thing because I can give that a little yank and alleviate some of that belly. What would you do, Shuhei? Not the right answer. Sure sounds good. It's like not answering my question. <laughs> it was a question that that was not an answer to. It's all good. Would you go left or right? Sounds good. That's very funny. Good. These jacks are terribly hot. Have you knock my nub in one sec? Can I trouble you just to cool the handle of the jacks? Is so flipping hot. Thank you. So because I did the jack and crack, my opening is quite narrow. I want to take enough heat to open it, but not so much that I seal it shut. When I first introduce the blades, because I know it's small, I'm just gonna put one of the two blades in the opening to straighten the party out. And paddle, please. So if you wanna make a vessel that you're gonna cork up or make a little stopper for, a narrow lip is quite nice. That looks really nice. Will you torch that top? I think we'll do that little fold at the lip so it looks like an old bottle rather than a newer bottle, like something you dug up in the yard. So I'm gonna have Shuhei torch the uh, lip to preheat it. Yeah. yeah. And as he's doing that, I'm just gonna sort of babysit my punty, letting that heat build up on the edge. And we'll roll it like we did the other day in two separate approaches rather than one. I might preheat one more time. I'll see what it looks like. So I feel like that didn't much. But you want the heat just focused on the edge or that like top half inch of the lip. Otherwise you end up flaring it and then it's really hard to kind of come back from that. We're good. This look has a nice little alpen glow. So I'm going to just take those tips and start to give a little tiny edge. 
clean up that edge from the back. And then I'll take one more heat and roll the lip over. The old roll over. Glass blowing is very hard to do well. Just always remember that <laughs> if you're like at all trying something new or frustrated. Just remember this is not, though a lot of people do it, a lot of people really have to work at it. It's not an easy process, but there's really nothing more fun. So having patience with what you do is good. Yeah. I think I'm gonna see what I can do with this. So I'm just easing that lip back. Oh yeah. And then Shuhei, will you gently, gently paddle? Yeah, hop on it. And I'll take one more heat, we'll do that once more, and that looks good. So you can see it has that double edge on the lip now, which I think looks kind of slick. 50, yeah. Totally unnecessary, but it's a nice decorative element. Kind of like when you do rings, it's like a decorative. What do you think, Juan? Do you approve of this message? Okay. I'm gonna be that wild guy with the newspaper just once. And paddle, please. Awesome. Cool. I put my whiskey in that. The old whiskey. Show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Take one more flash. I see Shuhei's getting on his outfit. I'm sure this is. Now, because this is all long and narrow at the top, I'm not going to go straight up and down because that would be crazy talk, reckless. May I hand that to someone? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Show me the way to the... Thank you for doing that slow roll. I really appreciate that. What a nice touch. Thank you, Shuhei. That looks great. Awesome. I'll tell you, glass ball is warm. It's warm. All right, martini, no, margarita. What, what do you guys like to drink? <laughs> now we'll make, a, we'll make a margarita glass. It's a little different shape. I don't know a lot of people that do this shape, but it has that little shouldered edge where I guess the salt or the sugar goes, right? Is that what the, you know what I mean? And so this will be a, a margarita shaped vessel, a stem and a blown foot. And we'll add a few accoutrements to those bits uh, with a wrap on the foot and a wrap on the stem just for decorative element. So I'm going to start in the white. Just show me the way to the next. Thanks, pal. Whiskey bar. So I am going to gather over this, but it won't be a huge thing. It'll just be a little bigger than probably should drink in one drink. Maybe it's certainly what I should drink in one drink. I'm a cheap date, though. So just getting that glass off the stick. Really working with the glass hot. It's so much happier to do what we want it to. Just kind of awesome. There she blows. Oop, sorry, Dan. I'm that guy that got the guy. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So when you're waiting for your glass to cool, if you're so inclined, you can use the opportunity to clean up your bench. I don't need that. I do want that. I do want that, and this should be wet. So yeah, getting your tools together so that when you come out of the heat, it's not uh, too exciting at the bench. You just have what you need ready. Yes. 
So the color will be on this, and then we'll do a blue spiral and a blue lip and a blue lip on the foot. So that'll be the extra clear stem. Clear stem. So we can be dancing in the streets. We could do a blue volume. We could do a blue bit, like a landing pad, or blow that off. Okay, I'm gonna hop right in and get a little more glass. Dancing, dancing, dancing in the So I'm trying to drip most of that off in the pot. I'm a fan of dripping off in the pot rather than in the bucket, just so we can use the glass later. And the glass is a nice level right now. That was not like a big deal to do. When the furnace is really full, it's harder to cast off in the pot, unless you're really tall. But I will never be a tall blonde. And I'm cool with that. <laughs> so this initial setup of the cup will be slightly tapered towards the bottom, a little bit conical towards the base. And I'm not gonna do any blowing until I've taken that equalizing heat because my inside and my outside are two very different temps. Show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Marbering, and a lot of you guys I've seen get more comfortable this week already. It's such a great way to specifically cool one part of your bubble. So not being afraid of using the marver is a great thing because you can really control what's going on. Getting a nice juicy heat, heating deep enough that I can cut my neck and not have to take several heats to do that is a, a good thing. Blow, please. Stop for a sec. As I'm cutting the neck, I'm looking at the bottom. Blow again, please, for thickness and for centeredness. Stop for a sec. If it's off center, I'll stop and address it. And if I'm losing my thickness, I'll uh, not blow quite as much or have to blow quite as much. So you need a little something to be able to add that extra bit to it. It shouldn't be paper thin at the very base. Blow once more, please. And stop. I'm gonna take a gentle heat and just taper the very bottom. And that's where the stem will sit and set it up for the shape that'll ultimately happen on the other side. A little wide right now. So just tapering it down will elongate it and narrow it. And heat is a great way to get that to happen. And the jacks. Blow lightly, please. Stop, thank you. May I have a, uh, like a double dip stem, like a nice big stem like what you brought earlier? It'd be great. And clear is perfect. So while Shu is fashioning up different parts, whether it be a wrap or a foot or what have you, my job is really just to maintain things. That means just flashing like it's my job because it's my job. And the flashes are really short bursts of heat, not long term hanging out in the heat because I don't want things to move, I just want things to be. So he's gonna get a little bit more glass on that, just based on what I can see here. And it doesn't need to be a horse's leg.
I will use the uh, Scratchosaurus to determine where my middle is. Even though I kind of see the high spot, I don't. And I think you can also get less glass. I don't need so much. Thank you. Please hold. This is a good test to see if I'm flashing. I hope to pass the test. That's good. Why don't you just scoop right up on that? That'll be enough. Perfect. Perfect. That's not the right side. I'm gonna flash but not hang out too long because I want the stem to be hot but not the bowl to get any heat to it. I like to straighten it out before I do any stretching of the stem. And then once I can get a little more heat on it, I can stretch it a little further and flatten the bottom where the foot will rest. You could also add a bit to that, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, all the bubbles. Shuhei, will you paddle, please? And gently press. Whoops. I would love a foot, please. A clear foot is good, and then we'll do a blue lip and maybe a stripe for good measure. So while Shuhei's fashioning up the foot, and really watch how he sets it up. It's just a, a round ball with a little bit of a neck, a hollow, evenly blown out form that he can deliver overhead. And then we snip it with those straight shears. Uh, I feel like it would get cold and it could pop off and then it would be an unexpected breakaway wrap. Yeah, I, I think putting it on later in the process. Also, if I have to straighten anything out, it gives me more access to the stem. Um, you could, especially if it's gonna go on thick and chewy, you totally could but I'm really just flashing everything and I want to put that on at the end when I can take a, a little juicier of a heat. But yeah, you, you could. I think it's more conservative to do it later as well. So he's got that bubble started. He'll sit and use the jacks to create the neckline. to the next whisker ball. How's it going, Shuhei? Awesome. I guess I better get ready. Lightest pop ever, and stop. Low super light. 
a little more and hold. Thank you. So it's nice sometimes when the foot comes over if you want it to be a little wider, perhaps a little thinner to take a puff. You don't always need to do that. Depends on how thick it comes or thin it comes to you. Grab that little tail, stretch it so that it's easier to create the neckline here. Now that's a wobbler, it's pretty thin at the edge so it's kind of wagging around. So I'm just gonna angle out and straighten it that way. That feels better. And I'm just really gently touching with the straight shears. I'm not gonna lift up holding it, the neck with the straight shears. Will you tap please? May I have a blue lip wrap, should I? So I'm gonna open this edge just slightly so it can accommodate the wrap of color. He's gonna dip out of that blue pot. If you put the wrap on when the lip is still quite small, it's easier to get around the diameter. If you widen your lip too much, just it doesn't mean you can't do it, it just makes it more work. So I'll open the lip to about an inch or so to accommodate the color. And notice the way he shapes it, just like a point, like if, as if he opened a box of new crayons, what the shape of the new crayon would look like at the tip. goes on, I'll snip you and, and we'll reheat or we'll just take a second wrap for the stripe. Yeah, yeah we'll play it, by, play it by ear. Thank you. So I like to always kind of go around the beginning just to make it even. Oh, I got a dangling participle. I'm gonna have to have you marble that once to shorten yeah. it a little. That was exciting. There's definitely some burning hair. You smell that? Yeah, is that you? Ah, it must be on the floor. Is that you? Is that <laughs> <laughs> Poor Juan. Aww. So I'm gonna put a stripe on, so before I open this any further, I'm gonna take what Shuhei's got. Straighten this puppy out. I will take one flash before I take you. Yes. And then just like with the lip wrap, I'm gonna try to go over the start. There's the big bubble. I'll go over it. You see it? It's too bad. If they're in there, I find them. Thank you. So now I can just heat that uh, bottom bubble up and open it up into a little disc. Hope for the best. Expect the worst. Usually how I approach the foot. <laughs> Uh, the blown foot's nice because it's nice and thin. You can get a little more diameter more easily than a solid foot. Oh, there's so many bubbles coming up from that color. As I heat it, you see them? Ooh. That's something else. Paddle on top of my blades real light. Thank you. And please stop. Let's do that one more time. You know how you heat and they like come up? Dope. I feel like all the pipes need to be cut down to get rid of the pity bits. You know what I mean?
one. I'm going to go in and up, and I may need that paddle on this heat, but I might take one more. Thank you. I will flash it once more before I take you, just to build up the heat so I don't have to force it. Shuei, I could be good if you want to start that up. Please and thank you. So I'm trying to use the force to help me open that a little bit, and now it's open, letting the force be with me. Paddle super light. And stop, thank you. This fight is not worth fighting. What's that? I'm ready. Is that what you just asked? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the year that we all lose our hearing and sight because <laughs> everybody's like, what? what? Huh? <laughs> is that in the middle? I'm ready. How do you feel? Uh, I'm making it stay where it is now so that I hope you feel good. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Juan. Appreciate it. I'm going to have you hold that just for a moment. Thank you. I'm, there's a lot of bubbles in it. Um, may I have, I'm going to trim it and then I'll put a blue lip wrap. Yeah. Thanks. Gracias. So part of the reason I'm going to trim this is to elongate the top because that will make it easier to get the shape, that mar uh, margarita shape at the edge, at the top to realize. Let's see what we got. Getting some height. I just need to flash. Oh yeah, totally. I'm totally ready for that to happen. I thought he was walking this way. Walk this way. Shuhei, I'm gonna have you reheat before you deliver it. Just so it's a little hotter. Mo better. A little mo better hotter. One more good flash and I'll be ready. All right, let's get that nice and hot. This blue is such a deceiving color because it's freezing cold and then you take a heat and it's like wet and you're like, oh my God, what is going on? I'm ready when you are. Thank you. I have 
to the others. One more because I can and uh, thank you. So that last wrap that we're going to do on the stem is going to be quite a bit uh, larger than that just so it can roll up the whole stem and be about a quarter of an inch in thickness, like a pencil thickness. So we'll clean this up a little bit and then I'll have you make uh, like a, either a big, one big dip or a double dip in the blue for the spiral up the stem. Please. I just want to kind of bring that in because I am going to soapy, um, yeah, I am going to soapy this. Steph, will you please paddle on top of my blades? Yeah, thanks. Give it a little push. And stop. Thanks. This is so hard. <laughs> it is so hard. Do this well, I can't believe it. I'm gonna give this a little puffy puff. That'll help me. Usually helps people. It's a puff. All right, this is where it's gonna get fun. I'm gonna use the wood to open that edge. Yeah, if you want to start that up, take your time, but that'd be awesome in the sauce. using the tips of the tool to press a little shoulder out. And that'll be the point of departure for that component. turning smoothly and pushing with the blades like it's a clutch, just really subtle and gentle and controlled to help you keep a nice, even affair going. I think I shall do that one more time. That looks great, Shuhei. I'm gonna get way too big in a moment. <laughs> I'm going to open this one, so I'll probably flash and be ready for you. Okay. Steph, will you please paddle the lip? Nice and easy. That's good. Thank you. Oh, I just stopped myself from turning my clutch. I just jumped. That's good. Oh. Good or should I flash again? Can you come out? Uh, no, no, you can actually stay put. I can fit. Sneak in, Zeller. Ah. Oh, hey. All right. Sure. I'm going to do it this way so I'm at the edge. Living at the edge. Thank you, that was a perfect size. Thank you for doing that so I don't have to hit the door. <laughs> you guys are so good. Awesome. So now I just need to heat that wrap so it kind of adheres to the stem, but because it was a little thicker, it's gonna be happy to, to do that. 
really just that top connection. I'll flash one more time. Yeah, you'd have to share this drink with someone else in a celebratory manner. That'd be a big one for one person. Awesome, thank you. One flash for mankind. Right? Round three. Nice funny. Thank you, Shuhei. That was great. Gracias. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, you should only drink out of celebratory glasses for your whole life. Nice job, guys. Thank you. Are we good?